Hello, my name is Kim Parnell and I'm a lead engineer at MSC Software. Today I'm going to discuss the application of finite element analysis, or it's often called FEA, to the cardiovascular stent design process. We're going to talk about how FEA can be used to predict how stents will perform when they're implanted in the human body. Cardiovascular stents are small expandable tubes that are inserted into arteries to restore blood flow and prevent localized constriction. The stent acts like a scaffold after it's inserted and it's used to hold the artery open and compress the plaque or blockage to help restore normal blood flow again. These small stents are inserted into the arteries by an interventional cardiologist using a guide wire and a balloon catheter. And stents are quite small, of the order of two and a half to four millimeters in diameter for coronary stent applications. Imagine that someone in your family needed a stent. You'd want to be absolutely certain that the stent was going to work as designed and that it would last for a very long time. The FDA does require that stents are tested and certified for reliability and durability before they can be put onto the U.S. market. In fact, the FDA requires that a stent has to pass 400 million fatigue cycles. This is the equivalent of 10 years for the average adult whose heart beats about 40 million times per year. So your body's a great fatigue testing machine. But physically testing stents can take many weeks, even if you use highly accelerated testing rates. And at that point, if the design fails, it leads to a prolonged design cycle involving a redesign and creation of new prototypes and running the life testing over again. This is why simulation is so critical. We can replace physical prototypes and many of the tests required with virtual equivalents that can be built and tested much faster. Testing is still needed, but the testing can be done smarter and fewer tests can be employed. In order to simulate the insertion and performance of stents, we need to build a finite element model using the actual stent shape and dimensions. Stints are often designed using CAD and designed using a flat layout pattern. Using MSC's new tool called SimExpert, engineers can import the CAD model and then roll it into a three-dimensional cylindrical shape. The cylindrical shape then is now appropriate for meshing or creating the finite element elements on and subsequently for performing the finite element stress analysis. In fact, simulation experts can even create reusable templates that enable meshing and model setup to be automated. This allows for quick and simple design assessment on a variety of stent designs and parametric changes. Once the model setup is complete, the template is used to automatically run a series of crimping, expansion, and then ultimately pulsation loading analyses. And this helps to optimize the stent design and ensure that the stent will be able to be delivered properly and will function for the long time. Simulation makes it possible for medical device engineers to design stents that are safe and reliable but accelerate the design and product development process to get products to market faster. If you'd like to learn more about how simulation can be used, please go to mscsoftware.com.